Hi, and welcome back to another edition of Easy Theory. So today we're going to continue our lecture series from where we left off. So last time we were talking about the languages of these things called DFAs. So remember that DFA stands for Deterministic Finite Automaton. And what, the, what are those? Those are just a state-based machine that looks like this potentially, has some transitions, some states are final, and the language of these DFAs are just the set of all strings that are accepted by this DFA, by any DFA. So those are what we call the languages of DFAs. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to give a name to these languages. So we're going to say a language is regular. So this is actually a term that we'll be using over and over and over throughout this lecture series. So a language is regular if it is the language of some DFA. So as long as we know that a DFA exists for that language, therefore the language is regular. And any language that doesn't have any DFA for it cannot possibly re be regular. So let's just do some examples here. So sigma star. So is that regular? And it turns out it is, obviously, because we can make a DFA like this. So like say 0, 1 if sigma is the set 0, 1, just as an example. But here we just make a single state DFA that loops on everything. and Therefore, since every string is accepted by this little DFA right here, therefore, this DFA right here corresponds to this language. And then, therefore, that implies that this language right here is regular. So, this it, so what we can say is that sigma star is regular from this. Maybe I should get rid of that. So, the, so having this DFA here implies that sigma star is regular. On the opposite end of the spectrum, if we have the empty set, we can do almost the identical operation that we did with the DFA we had before, but instead we make it non-final, and clearly, since there is no final state here, therefore we will never accept, and this implies that the empty set is also regular. A little less trivially, we could say have the language containing a single string be empty string. And in order to make a DFA for that, we need two states, it turns out. And what we can do here is to do something like this. So instead of having one state, we have two states. And here we notice that in order to accept anything, we have to be in this start state right here because the other state's not final. And the only string that stays there is the empty string because if we have any string that is not empty, therefore we end up at this other state over here. So this DFA accepts exactly one string, which is the empty string, and that's what this language is right here. So this implies that that language is regular. But notice what we can do here. If I take exactly the same DFA, and but I, instead I flip which states are final and not final, whatever this is, this is also a DFA. And so, therefore, whatever that is, it's also regular. But what this is, is just taking every single string that is accepted here and making it not accept over here, and vice versa. So this language is actually equal to sigma star minus set minus the one that we had before, aka every possible string take away the ones in the language that we just talked about right here. So this, of course, implies that sigma star minus the empty string is also regular. And there are many other examples that you could put, you could uh, find you can actually make a DFA for. Cool. So these are a bunch of examples of some regular languages. The point here to always remember is that a language is regular, that's the name of the language, if 
it is the language of some DFA. And there are actually some circumstances where we do not know how to make the DFA, but we know that it actually exists. And that's all that is needed to show that the language is regular, whatever it is. As long as there is some DFA and we know that it exists, maybe we don't know how to make it, but we know it exists, therefore that language is regular. So I hope that was interesting. Leave a comment below if you found any other interesting regular languages and how to actually make the DFA for them. As always, please like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps uh, with the growth of the channel and it costs absolutely nothing. There are many other links in the description if you want to support the channel additionally. And as always, I'll see you next time.